Nama kama hivyo ada kila siku ya Jumatano kuanzia majira saa tatu kamili usiku hadi saa nne kamili ni wakati rasmi wa kuweza kupanda na kuzungumzia gumzo la uh, ligi kuu soka Kenya lakini wikiendi kwamba hatuzungumzi ligi kuu ya soka maana kwamba ilikuwa ni wikendi ya mechi za kimataifa yani international break ambapo Harambe Stars ilicheza mechi moja kirafiki dhidi ya taifa la Urusi katika uga wa kule mjini Antalya Uturuki mechi ambayo ilishia sare ya magoli mawili kwa mawili lakini kabla ya kuanza gumzo hili la kuzungumzia Harambe Stars hiki ni kipindi cha Walk with Sagini Show mimi naitwa Jason Sagini the Sports Archbishop na mwanzangu Dano Gega pamoja pia na Maki Nyanjui karibu sana wao hapa kama mtazamaji niweza kuniambia pale kwenye comment section J katika mchezo wa kirafiki wa Urusi je mambo ulionaje lakini kabla kwenda hapo kuzungumzia mjadala mzima wa kuangazia matukio mbalimbali katika mchezo wa kirafiki wa Kenya na Urusi ni kwanza vema tuweze kupata kimbwanga cha siku kuweza kujua magoli ya Kenya je yanifunguaje tazama hiki kipindi kabla ya kuanza uchambuzi mubashara Asviaje sotki Объединяют с российской командой. Вот сейчас ошибка допускает и наша сборная, и мяч в сетке ворот. Но наш такому случится. Кенийцы подарили гол нам, а мы ответили им любезностью. Причем это Дмитрий Баринов сделал такую неаккуратную передачу, после которой вроде бы Илья Помазун еще пытался спасти ворота нашей команды. И даже вроде бы ему удалось заблокировать первое касание. Но дальше, смотрите, что происходит. Ну как же так? Под давлением, понятно, под давлением. Здесь Дмитрий Баринов, может быть, дело не в его вине. Легко падают, складываются. Мы уже видели, если такое произойдет в штрафной площади, будут подозрения на 11-метровые. Этого нам не надо допускать. Какая срезка неприятная от головы Георгия Джики. И мяч в сетке ворот. Ну, тут уж ничего не попишешь. Мяч срезался удобнейшим образом для кенийского футболиста. И Масуд Джума... 16 номер команды из клуба Аль Джабалаин выступает он во втором дивизионе чемпионата Саудовской Аравии отправляет легкий мяч в сетку Ильи Помазуна. Вы смотрите, здесь он в офсайде находится. Нам диво мамбо диво куа катка уга вакуле джини Анталия куле турика джана катка мчила кирафики катя кения на русе лежа сария били били wakifunga magoli ya Kenya Masud Juma na Anthony Agei Akumu karibu sana wenzangu pia moja pia na mtazamaji kwenye kipindi cha gumzo la FKFPL yani gumzo la Harambe Stars na kuuliza swali pale kwenye comment section unaweza kuniambia je katika mchezo wa jana wa Kenya na Harambe Stars na Urusi je mchezaji mgani au mchezaji gani ambao walikufurahisha kama shabiki na peweza kuniambia je unaionaje Kenya kikosi cha Kenya timu ya Kenya na Harambe Stars je tuna kikosi cha biti kuna kile mchana kufuzu kombe la dunia la mwaka 2026 maana kinacheza na Gabon kisha baada hapo edidi ya ushelisheli mwezi Novemba kabla ya kutua mwaka kesho kuchuana Ivory Coast moja pia na Burundi na timu zingine katika kundi letu la kufuzu World Cup ya mwaka 2026 kwa hiyo naweza kuniambia which players impressed you the most and at the moment how do you rate our squad ahead of the World Cup qualifiers come November when we face Gabon and Seychelles karibuni sana Dan na Kenjui na moja kwa moja ni mechi ambayo ilikuwa ni ya msimko mkubwa maana yake wengi hawakutarajia kwamba huenda ikaishia kwa sare ama ushindi maana yake nafikiri Harambe Stars were winning that game only that kidogo tu kosi tu kidogo dikosea maana kwamba tulikuwa tupata ushindi katika mchezo huo lakini kwamba ndivyo ilivyokwenda sare ya mbili mbili lakini swali langu limeuliza hapo kwa kwa shabiki za kuniambia who was the man of the match which player impressed impressed you the most than who according to you was your man of the match and why first of all John Njema kwa nimekuwa muda mrefu hatujashare kwa platform so na actually this is a what one say the most boring weekend but sisi wenye tunapenda soka ya nyumbani this is the perfect opportunity for us kuangalia timu ya nyumbani ikicheza na wale ambao wanapenda NSL kwa sababu NSL imekuikiendelea you also get an opportunity ya kwenda kiwanja waangalie game ikichezwa so generally it has been a good weekend na tukiangazia mchono kati ya Rambe Stars na taifa la Urusi personally my man of the match na Zaiyeka Richard Odada first of all alafu pia ushirikiano wake na Teddy Akumu huko kwa Central of Field Central Midfield ya Stars hiyo ni partnership ambayo inaendelea ikicross sana so i feel like Odada I has been having a, a quite some spell ukimwangalia jinsi amecheza against Qatar amecheza against South Sudan na pia game ya jana against Russia ni player ambayo ukimwangalia na umri wake ni player ambaye na grow 
and again is growing into his position okay angalia with every match anapatiwa anaendelea kuonesha new dimension a new aspect of his game so na i feel kwamba kwenda miaka ya hapo mbele ya wa midfield itakuwa in safe hands akipata partner mzuri that is right ah uh, bwana mark ukiangalia kosi kilichoanza jana if you look at this squad uh, quite a number of players who started who are new for instance runi onyango ambaye alikuwa ameanza mechi ya kwanza ya kitaifa akitoka klabu ya Gor Mahia who was your man of the match because i think personally runi onyango impressed the most uh i'd have to agree with um, uh, my brother dan niki sema richard udada manake richard udada is evergreen uh kat, katika hiyo midfield uh in terms of how he controls the tempo of the game in terms of how um, his passes are very progressive uh, manake unakumka kuna but time plan ya win ball vizuri and then akape ulunga a perfect through ball but then ulunga missed that one on one sita i'm sure we'll we'll talk about that later in detail um, but i think he impressed me the most i know uh, runio nyango did quite well especially considering ni right back na anacheza in two in in an unfamiliar in two unfamiliar roles unajua ni kwa shanga runio nyango anafanya nyie akicheza kama left winger na cut inside end but i i thought he did well he was very vertical he was very aggressive he was pacey but you could tell that he's not a winger manake alikuwa na struggle ku isolate eh, wingers when on one full backs or rusher when on one v one situations of course akipata ball ana pay the safest option that he's not the kind of player who will just take men on which is understandable but otherwise i thought, I thought he handled uh, the pressure of of you know making his debut against the nation of such a such a well and yeah i genuinely believe those are the two players na pia um, i i also want to one last time to give a shout out to uh, antonio akumu ambaye uh, I, i thought his pressing game was very intelligent jana alikuwa very good at anticipating situations na alikuwa very good at smelling the danger uh, na opportunities ambazo zingezua bao kumbuka hiyo bao yenye alifunga ilikuwa ku force turnover ya possession and then a uh, bao ikafungwa so i think those are the three players that really really stood out for me mm, bora dan what what do you make of runi onyango first call up alafu anakiongoza namba ambayo si yake right winger he's a right back at Gor Mahia but at Arambe Stars alikuwa right winger jana and he played 88 minutes what do you make of Runio Nyango's debut i think he's one for the future and uh, he made the most of the opportunity that came his way uh, that's uh, the most basic interpretation of the way alicheza jana kwa sababu ukiangalia wachezaji wengi wanakuwa na butterflies especially wakati wanaicheza game ya kwanza lakini ukiangalia ta pre uh, pre pre ile pre match ile alikuwa amesema ata ata itia bd hadi apatiwa nafasi ya kwanza na akipatiwa nafasi ya kwanza ataitumia vizuri of which he did so ukiangalia ni player ambaye anajiamini and again kuna kwa kwa wakati wa cheza fullback kama especially fullbacks unaambia wewe ni kiraka you can play hapo mbele kwa sababu the moments yenye inahitajika unazaenda mbele eh, mtu anacheza mbele yako akujisaidia kwa kusaidia kukava so you should be ready to play either position eh, based on the situation so mi venye maka amelet vizuri sana uh, ukiangalia wakati uh, ku, 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 ku separate alafu uh, uh, man wake up that's the only dimension uh, because sasa uh, naturally is not a winger so you don't expect him to do that well on the first day but i feel like with more experience and especially like aki hizo collab zake zikiwa consistent and more playing time you realize that atakuja kuwa na player ambaye anacheza poa sana especially ukiangalia uh, your debut you are playing out of position and you give that kind of a display i feel like you are a good player and again see it yako pale kwa kupendelewa kuna watu wanasema i feel labda yeye huyu sijui nini but ni mtu ameenda pale has given a good account of himself so i feel like uh, it is definitely one uh, to watch uh, to watch out for in the future so hapo uh, watu wasipochunga huenda tukamwona akicheza pale in the next 10 ama plus years that is kama atakuwa based on his health and love na peer discipline of which i have no question about by the by the mark you know at that right position hiyo uh, nafasi ya beki ya kulia right back position we have a number of players there and i think there is a number of players there who can make that squad or that position be very competitive yeah. talk of amos nondi who also played very well alafu kuna anyembe ambaye akuepo jana bado kuna kina nani mwingine tena yule eh, pamoja na Aruni Onyango so three players at the position who can play so well so i think kuwekwa jana kwa manake Aruni Onyango is a new signing at Gormahia alisema tu alisajiliwa tu msimu huu na amekuwa 
first choice and Jonathan McKinstry akimtoa akina Philemon Otieno kama right back pale Gormahia anachukua nafasi ya kwanza Gormahia kwa I think it's a very good uh, position that he's playing and I think uh, Firata hapo kidogo alipata vizuri lakini tukizungumzia jeans tulipocheza jana bwana Mark uh, what new or uh, what new did stars show against stars against russia aside from the previous fixtures that we played against qatar and uh, south sudan uh okay before nijibuyo swali i'd like to add that kuna right back mwingine wa task daniel sakari and i think all four uh, yes. players are very are very good options who will give us uh, different options in future uh especially considering the fact that you know anyembe anaweza ingi into the back three anaweza ingi into the back three uh kwa sababu yeye natural defender meaning anaweza kupe extra protection when you need uh, an extra center back who can overlap and do all those things eh uh, unaweza tumia sakari wakati unataka pia sakari can also invert can also overlap and he also has that long flat bullet through ambaye anaweza tashida then we saw runes vertical and pace and fast and as well nundi ambaye ni midfielder na aza invert kama midfielder na create overloads uh, to answer your question on um, on what i saw different uh, I, i i feel like for a start i think uh, spainia team ni established in terms of like um, were it not for the unfortunate injury ambayo uh, brian othiambo ali safa uh, i think he's the clear first choice at this point he's the established first choice I feel that we have a, a solid back of uh, two of uh, Johnston Omurua and uh, uh, Joseph Okumu ambao on and off the ball are very robust they are very good in possession and out of possession they are pacey and they are athletic na you know they are more than ball playing defenders basically and then Akumu uh, atakama atezi sana pale Sagantosu I think chemistry yake na, na understanding yake na um, Uh, Richard Udad I think we may form some sort of understanding with each other although I still feel that for that number 8 role we still need to look at someone else to own eh? but for now tunaweza elewa um, uh, that why that partnership will will stay forever but ahead of 2026 which is three years away I think we need to start looking at you know a potential successor for uh, Anthony Akumu Uh, and then of course pale mbele in the number 10 role i think bado kuna question marks manake tumeona engine virat ni bona feed 442 na kenneth muguna in my opinion is more of a number 8 he's more of a left sided midfielder kwa midfield 3 yes in number 10 has you could receive between the lines and i feel that that is a, a position that still needs addressing lakini up front i think olunga is okay much as he's missing chances There are a lot of things he brings to the team and you watu wa waoni he creates overloads he links play he, he brings others into the game and you know he leads um, well from the front in terms of like his defensive actions so i feel like mm-hmm. when you have a strong spine from their framework kunaweza ingiza any sort of framework in terms of the right back left back uh, wingers na spine kibaki the same Uh, you can build the team around and bring different options even during competitive fixtures but the most important thing me spine and personally you can use i feel like uh, spine spine ko 80% yeah. good 80% good mm-hmm. and at least for the next like two games manake tunacheza na gabon kisha tucheze na sishe usheli sheli uh, i feel mm-hmm. like um, those are games where we can survive with that spine for now Uh, but you know next year considering almost all games it are competitive kwa sababu ya Afcon qualifiers at 25 na as well hizo mm-hmm. world cup qualifiers at 26 next year kuna room for friendlies so i feel like the spine is at least strong enough or 80% strong enough whereby tunaweza tengeneza a good framework around it so uh, mm-hmm. i feel that like hizo ndo vitu tume observe ever since bani kwa lifted like tuko na solid spine by now Aha, hapo ndo kuna swali langu la siku mtazamaji yuko hapo kuniambia do you think our squad at the moment is uh, strong and ready to face likes of Ivory Coast Gabon Seychelles in the World Cup qualifiers mtumie ujumbe wako pale kwenye comment section nitausoma hewani hapa na muona Yunis Angai anasema it was a good game kudos to everyone but let's tell the truth we need to work on creativity and the way we, we make our subs last minutes power is really costing us asante sana alafu Brian Wahome 
anasema Kenya versus France international friendly soon you know, somebody, I saw someone online akisema kwamba uh, right now Kenya wants to play France needs to play France and their substitutes on the bench for France should be Argentina and England siku so, lakini ni sawa alafu Waiganjo Ngugi anasema niko ndani kama kawa Afrika Kusini na wapata live asante sana Yunis uh, Yusite Angaya anasema Matasi Omurwa Odada really tried asante sana by the way also Matasi did a very good job apart from just yeah. Odada and Rulo Nyango Matasi also considering that yes I see first choice lakini akapata nafasi ya kuweza kuanza manake alipokuja mchezoni alijua kwamba haanzi game lakini kwenye soka lazima uwe tayari akapata jeraha Brian Aviambo akaingia Matasi na kikweli kabisa licha kama alifunga mawili lakini aliokoa na alikuwa na control defense yake kutoka kule nyuma kwa hivyo still think that he still one of the Kenya's number one goalkeeper so alafu naona hapa Mutai Hassan anasema Richard Odada ndiye alimweza kuimpress sana jana asante pia namuona Idris Mashumbe anasema that boy Rooney played well asante sana M Sheikh anasema fine Mr tuned in asante sana alafu Idris Mashumbe anasema Eldama Ravini natazama alafu Waiganjo Ngugi anasema coach should try bring the substitute from the 60th sio game ikiwa karibu kuisha okay asante sana kwa hilo now da what where did we get it right against russia because this russia cameroon ilishindwa kuipiga siku ya alhamisi wiki jana waliwapiga 1-0 and cameroon had a lot of chances but they failed to score but for us we scored two goals what did we get right against russia first of all first of all najua tukumbuke kwamba kwa build up kwa game kulikuwa na match comparison about uh, FIFA standings kwa either side like kiangalia the gap between us iko around uh, actually in almost 80 positions plus if i'm not wrong so kulikuwa obvious that in aspect kwamba you're going to play a, a team yenye in terms of their level of development of football and everything kwa sababu kuandiko but uh, whenever you're playing against that team, there's such a team me chenye nenda kuangalia kwanza ni venye tunakipa wa shape especially because there is a high chance in the come square na ball like uh, but ukiangalia especially to to the end back is right on the third minute so at that time coach had a kinakwanga ni ile nitasaikaje players wangu wasiache hiyo blow yende too much into their heads to the level kwamba what a lack or lack organization so ile comment in shape of the ball was very important for us and again ukiangalia after sasa tumepata equalizer we grew into the game rather to dominate a vast source of opposition so i feel like uh, that played a key because ukiangalia russia even the way they played against cameroon they never expected that because ukiangalia in terms of a uh, level of uh, level of talent and everything uh, kenya na cameroon cameroon is way ahead of us so they were even caught by the element of surprise so me i feel like uh, the only thing we need to work on sasa ni ile unakuwa tunakuwa tunakuja kucheza against elite sides chenye na determine your chances of winning ama coming out something good ile ukipata ball you know how to use it well na hapo ndio sasa ile aspect marker alisema kwamba hatuna creative midfielder ambaye anaweza tupatia an edge over the opponent mtu kama type ya kahata manya alikuwa na feel like akipata kwa zile spaces anaweza probe alafu anaweza apatia wingers ni supply fit ya ball alafu anaweza make zile vitu zapo katikati kwa center center of the midfield is click so uh, off the ball na ku maintain shape tuko poa so the only thing we need to do and again given the fact that kwamba ajembe ya kucheza ambayo ukiangalia ile game ya Qatar alicheza fit sana wa partnership yake na Joseph Kukumu so wale ni players wana feel kwamba wakipatiwa even more time the way hata mwenye coach ame insist kwamba let him stay with them let him stick with them wazoyane wacheze at least pata kujuana vizuri so mimi na hisi kwamba we are on the right track issue ni ile sasa how are we going to get a good player mwenye atatusaidia Uh, kutik hizo nini hapo katikati ku make plays hapo kwa midfield alafu ku link up defense na attack that's the only player we need to find na utapata ulunga ataanza kufunga mabao yenye watu wana expect of course i know people are very harsh about him missing chances but that's, that's natural to a striker na we, if we get that kind of a player i don't know kama ni muguna i don't know the level to which and still to step up but that's a question for the coach to answer but so far so good i think against russia the only thing that you need to keep kwa game up to the level tuna tuna equalize ni ile commitment shape of the ball and again eh kukaa kwa aggressive wakati tuna feel like this is a chance for, for us to pounce on them. Mhm. Na before you speak Mark, uh, Crispus Chalo anasema kwamba mm-hmm. the team is good, midfield has been fine. Our defense mm-hmm. with Anyembe back is complete though Aku Okumu is a bit shaky but our striking is yet to click. My man of the match goes to Johnston Omurwa, very composed and calm on the ball. Mark, kuna mm-hmm. semaje? Uh okay, uh, first of all um eh, 
kuna point fulani one of our listeners ame kwa kusema kuhusu substitutions and i agree with her completely uh tulikuwa tushasema kuhusu bunifu and the fact that we need a good number 10 for how this coach wants to set up but pia inafa alan ku read game better yes i understand that uh, unadharibu kusia uta result against a, a big team like russia and let's be honest russia walikuwa me fieldish um, um, most of their you know uh, backup players from ile game ya cameroon watu walika bench cameroon walicheza hii game although tuliona watu kama miran chuko alianza ule uh, uh, player wa atalanta uh, i feel like um, eh inafa ajaribu ku ku read games better uh, inafa asiogope sana manake i was listening to tite uh, the former brazil coach uh, tite alikuwa coach wa Corinthians time walibeba club world cup 2010 wa, 2012 wakishinda chelsea kama mnakumbuka hiyo mechi maybe mm-hmm. many very many many months ago na alikuwa anasema chelsea wali uh, corinthians walishinda 1-0 but tite was saying he made a mistake uh, dakika ya 90 alijaribu kusia out game by kusabon an extra uh, defender and alikuwa anasema that is always a mistake because when you have two defenders that have played together for 90 minutes in Okumu and Endomurwa already washaelewana so by the time unaleta center back mwingine even for those of us who've played the game before as well dan unaelewa like how to take could disrupt rhythm ya hiyo back four manake washaelewana so by the time umse mwingine anaingia itateka while ndo aingiliane na hawa watu wengine una get so i feel like that played a part in russia to consider a late goal una get and otherwise if we, probably we'd have stayed with a back four probably we'd have hung on to that um to one win and, and make history kama we to make history na kata so i feel like that is something he needs to do better ina faache kuogopa sana like in with all due respect i i feel like he he, he underestimates some of the, the way our team can be in terms of like um tuliona na kimanzi if we want to we can be very expansive and we can take games to the opposition so inafa alan eh, kutokuwa wetu pragmatic at times uh, that's what i was saying in terms of like the substitutions Aha, nam, hapa kwenye comment section i want us to talk about a big hitting point or a big boiling point that was over the game uh, Russia against Kenya that is our captain Michael Ongada Olunga but before we speak about him because kulikuwa na mjadala mkubwa sana kumhusu striker wetu Olunga hapa kwenye comment section Muhanji eh, Washington anasema ako ndani asante eh, pia nakuwa na Suzling Chege unasema niko ndani watching from all shops asante sana Motari Adintia Franklin anasema I am tuned in asante sana alafu Wanjala eh, Brian anasema Firat should be given time and freedom to select his team he is building a good team asante kwa kauli yako hiyo Makambo anazungumzia kuhusu Olunga nitakusoma muda si mrefu alafu na kuona Crispus Chalo anasema watching live from Maseno University tuned in asante sana nao on that point whereby Makambo Bingwa anasema Olunga Afcon Kenya ikicheza na TZ mnakumbuka mambo aliyoyafanya lakini mpe time he will hit back that's where we are going to step now about Michael Ogada Olunga ambaye ni nahodha wetu na kabla ya mchezo alizungumza na katoa kauli akasema kwamba we are going out to compete this is a good test against a worthy opponent we will give a fight and i think if there is one of the players who, who in in Arambe stars who has ever and always gives or puts up a fight in Yolunga manake he is our top player he is our star player but then at the moment he is facing some criticism from the public and the fans because of kind of a little bit shaky form or not scoring form because in the game against Qatar hakufunga lakini alienda bao in the game against South Sudan pia hakufunga na against uh, Russia still hakufunga kwa hiyo naturally mashabiki wanatarajia kama wewe ni mshambuliaji lazima ufunge mabao lakini unapokosa kufunga inakuwa ni issue na mtafaruku mkubwa miongoni mwa mashabiki wengi wa soka duniani so many are saying Olunga should be benched because alikosa nafasi kama tatu hivi now bwana Dan What's wrong first of all what's your analysis about Olunga? Mimi sioni kama kuna shida kwa sababu unajua there is a perception there is understanding and also there is a reality. Na kuna uhalisia kuna vile wanataka mchezaji acheze na pia kuna nasemaje na kuna pia kuelewa mchezo mechi jinsi inasaidia kuchezwa. So 
na feel kama ina strikers position kwa sababu kiangalia most of the strikers that Lionel Messi conversion rate yake ijafika 40%. So that one should tell you like a good striker should try to make the most of the opportunities in akuja his way but it's not like he has to hit them 100% and uh, it's natural to the game kwa sababu nakumbuka hata kuna ile game ilikuwa zile yeye ameje shabiki amekumbuka vizuri sana ile ya TZ na Ramistas alitubeba alafu games kataru kiangalia vile endelea nondi the, the, the winning goal so you only need moments to show you uh, your, your quality as a striker na kuna vile maki alikuwa amesema vizuri sana hold up player ulunga iko top sana alafu kiangalia jinsi ana involve other players kwa play iko tops I feel like hata yule mwenye wana feel like anaweza kuja hapo acheze vizuri akipati nafasi pia ata strong kwa sababu kuna hiyo reality ya kuongea from the sidelines na kuna ile pressure ya kulive the moment like you are the one who's supposed to make things happen kama ukiangalia ile return return returns in terms of in terms of wenye uh, amekuwa deployed the number of matches amecheza na return yake in terms of goals in by so i don't feel like uh, in the there is any better striker so it's only a matter of us kupatia chance acheze ball yake vizuri because he's the captain na pia ukiangalia mimi kuna kitu najiambia anga as a footballer as a an analyst na mtu mwenye ni stakeholder kwa game najiambia if i deploy a player in a given position you give me your 100% and you don't win i'll be okay with that because i expect you to give me your all that's all I, i'm putting you there to do lakini ikiweka pale tushinde but tujanipatia your best i love i leave that in that place with questions because when i feel like given on a different day the outcome could have been different so Let's start judging him from the basis that amekuwa kicheza na BD as in inspiring the rest of the squad. Alafu kiangalia amekuwa kama mainstay sana. So he's literally is the leader. Kwa hii yenye skeleton yenye maka alikuwa machora vizuri sana. Like he's the most experienced, the most capped player kwa hiyo na pia ukiona kina Tosh walitoka. Players wengi ambao walicheza Afcon and last time wote wametoka. I think it could be the only one who's left there. So that's a good uh, starting point kwa timu ambayo inataka ku rebuild na timu ambayo inataka ku establish a playing style na vitu kama hizo. So let's not be too harsh because ukiangalia the essence ya hizi friendlies ni ku ku keto ku 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 brush cobo webs kwanza kwa sababu it's been a long time but jacheza game kwanza. Alafu tumecheza against elite sides Qatar walicheza World Cup. Tucheza Sudan it was unlucky walitushinda. But ukiangalia Russia walifika World Cup ya 2010 walifika up to the quarter finals levels. That one should tell you like this is an elite side tunacheza na sio team wewe sema uweze compare Sudan na na Russia if i was given uh, to choose the uh, the the number of opponents na chance the type of opponents i would have not come up with a better list so given that we may deliver against Russia now why should not be optimistic about chances the game ambazo zina come so to sikue of, of course na elewa ni ile mashabiki wanatarajia tu mabao lakini pia mashabiki pia wajaribu tu kujielimisha kwamba kwa game si lazima ulunga peke yake si nani Juma alifunga jana akumu amefunga jana si tulikuwa na mabao So it was it written like lazima kwa score sheet lazima jina la Lunga likuwa pale. Of course tukifunga bao pia amechangia sababu kiangalia kama bao ya kumu si Lunga alikuwa anataka kufunga baada akachanganya goalkeeper bali karudi kwa kumu akafunga. So that's a contribution itself. It's count that an assist. So siwani kama kuna sababu ya siku kumbashi sana. Mm-hmm. But but kinyanjui uh, as a striker when you get two plus more chances and you miss all of them. What does that tell about that striker? Is he out of form or he is okay? Uh, he's not out of form. I think what wana wana exaggerate sana because he's banging them goals for fun akiwa pale Al Uh I know ame kwa kihata chances um sana ame hata like uh four one one on one situations in the last three matches. Um and I understand his reason for concern a lot. Uh especially considering when we are playing against teams like this and um World Cup qualifiers any chance you get you have to take but olunga brings as in olunga qualities and you let your team uh has you warrant he could dropped at all at because he's meeting, missing chances like i said any target man target man kazi yake ni ku ni ku flick balls on willing runners eh, ama ku link play ku drop deep uh ku hold ball ku let watu wengine into the game you know all those things and pia ku ku are the first line of defense um and olunga is a, is a very uh, hard worker of the ball uh, off the ball taimana ball is a very hard worker so um the qualities he brings are way to important na pia kama dan venya mention he's also a leader he's the only experienced player we have nilikuwa na have conversation with one of my colleagues last week alikuwa asema maybe it was a mistake uh, giving him the armband kwa sababu watu uh, with the armband comes a lot of pressure manake um, all Kenyans expect him to be like superman eh? um coach ronald okoda alikuwa anasema kitu on on twitter leo na alikuwa anasema the exact same things i've always been saying 
in terms of like what Uhawangali what he brings to the team. Um one I'm pay pressure because he's the star of the team, but uh, I think we need to cut him some slack. Um everyone will go through rough patches Kosababu, Ato Kiangazia, even the best strikers in the world. Uh, let's be honest. Kuna time water went through a rough patch. Um Er, er, Erling Haaland atakama he brings nothing more to the team and scoring goals. Kuna time ye ukua shot. Uliona venye saliba ali, ali mweka kwa mpuko marambili mpululizo. Unaget? Like sometimes it will happen. But pia ye ye, I think he also needs to look, take a long look in the mirror to be fair atakatu na mtetea na Haaland could take those chances that he's getting because he's being given chances on a plate. It's not like at his feeding off scraps. Umeona like team ye tu ikona capacity ya create especially in transitional situations when we force turnovers and i like that about our game off the ball shape yetu ina force hiyo 442 shape yetu off the ball the idea ni ku force turnovers nayo i see what virat is trying to do and when we force turnovers tuna create transitional situations na hizo transitional situations ndo zinalandia ulunga on one v one situations na nazi hata i think he also needs to take all those chances that he's getting at the same time but otherwise, I, I can't think I can't complain about Olunga. He's a wonderful footballer. He's one of the best strikers, in my opinion, not just in Kenya, but Africa in general, of all strikers around. Uh, he's very complete. Uh I'll do high. Only that he plays in Middle East. But in my opinion, I think he's one of the best strikers Africa has at the moment. So uh, I think we need to appreciate him for, for what he is. Mm-hmm. Nam hapa kwenye comment section namuona Ngugi Waiganjo anasema uh, Olunga has done a lot to stars in previous matches so he doesn't deserve to be criticized he will definitely bounce back badly let's be patient asante sana kwa hilo alafu Crispus Chalo anasema uh, I think the captain armband may be too much for him what if Firat tries Okumu with the armband to relieve Olunga I'm coming back to that uh, point of uh, Firat trying Okumu blah 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 and Amband. Lakini pia nasoma jumla mwingine anasema kwamba nani huyu kwa jina la Makambo Bingo anasema kwamba people who criticize Michael are just uh, amateurs who watch football from with emotions. Dude scored against Iran not long ago, assisted a goal against Qatar. I mean, even the best players in the world miss chances and that is none issue because it's normal in football according to me olunga played a very important role of holding up play and keeping uh, the russians defense at bay all time like a striker is supposed to do so i can't or i don't even understand what's the fuse all about olunga is a very important player sana sana kwa hilo alafu pia namuona hapa kwa jina nani huyu naitwaje naitwaje ni shamsom bila shaka yote asante sana kwa hilo eh crispus charles kwa shamsom bila shaka pia lakini Dan, on that uh, essential point that fan has just talked about Firat trying another uh, another 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 player as the captain. Personally, I don't think so, but my question to you will be you are engine Firat. And your coach and your player at the moment, your top star player at the moment, is kinda not in good form of scoring goals. And the fans on the other side were gonna pressure you sana. Now, you as a coach, do you drop your star player when he's having a poor run of form, or do you still keep him? What do you do as a coach? First of all, acha nianze kujibu swali lako kwa kuobserve kwamba Olunga is not out of form. Tuanze na hilo kwanza sababu tulicheza na Iran not long ago. Jana I think that was counted as an assist alafu na ile game pia ya Qatar pia alipea an assist. So kwa directly kujibu swali lako you don't throw him under the bus when he needs you most because wakati ule mchagua captain you saw his leadership abilities kwake alafu you saw his footballing ability na ile ability yake ya galvanize your squad na kuwa wewe ni kuhakikisha kwamba kila mtu wako in place so i don't feel like uh, throwing him under the bus is the best choice for a coach so the best choice for a coach ni kupatia player wako confidence wakati ako chini kabisa that's the only way to elevate game yako but i don't think that's the situation we are addressing right now so tenya olunga na sahili tu kufanyiwa sasa hizi ni a little bit more training na pia ile kujikumbusha ile kuwa kurudisha ile nafsi yake ya kukubang mabao that's what people need uh, to see hiyo tu pekee because either in a game if you are, you are presented with four chances try to run away with one hiyo inaweza pata team imeshinda one but ukipata zote nne hata pia i guess pia yeye unajua wakati na as much as criticize from the outside hata yeye after game anadanga tu ana analyze mwenyewe anajiambia hapa i should have done this hapa i should have done this with the consultation number coaches work fellow players 
I think they could be having very honest reflections and I feel like Apa game I could have done this. So I don't think like a negative vibe in our items idea at this point. The only thing we need to is to mm-hmm. encourage him on, to cheer him on. And I think the next game about that is as well as a qualifiers and browsing as a, some is it next year, yes. So from there, I think mm-hmm. we should be able to see a different man because we can get see from this stage on a kind of friendly stena. So Chenyat Nana and Izilam Napiga qualifier, Mnapata points Mkidro. Napata point moja mkipoteza, mna have something to chase after. So, sahi, I feel like the kind, even the kind of training sessions are in terms of the intensity and everything is going to go a notch higher. So, we should not be worried because he has delivered at the highest stage. So, kama hila game ya Tanzania, hila kutuka na itajiba wala kushina la tufungia. And he has uh, taken us through such moments uh, many times before. Why should we have an uh, nini etabia za kumkritisa? Yama kulak faith in what he has done so far. So, I don't see a point in that. Yes. Aha. Nam, Bona Mark, we all agree that at this point uh we are not talking about olunga's olunga being out of form or rather not performing well by missing some of the one one chances but we are talking about the situation whereby nikana kwamba kidogo is kind of let's say can you can you say low in confidence or what can we call because nasema it is not a poor run of form but then at this point kuna pressure ya mashabiki ambao siku zote watakuwa na pressure tu wao wanahitaji magoli because you are the top player and that team now what i understand is uh, a player like uh, olunga who has been helping you so much in the past dropping him is not a, is not a solution but playing him consistently is a solution because this will will reassure your confidence in him then wale mashabiki pia ambao wanamkejeli kwamba hafanyi vizuri anafaa tolewe anafaa vuliwe bandi ya captain anafaa sianzishwe kwenye mchezo what do you tell those fans ha huh, okay here's the thing um see i don't know how this is going to sound but um kwa time liko na ongea na arocho na arocho is telling me uh, i don't know if this is going to sound but that what to watch game na emotion sana what to how on anki mpira na logic una get like you don't look at those things that we were talking about people are too emotional and something else you may notice about kenyans uh, is that sisi kama the kenyan media uh, tume tunauzanga narrative ya at the top scorer is the next big thing at kwa sababu wafunga mabao KPL you know the next big thing so people are pushing for for nani um omala manake anafunga mabao pale gor mahia but they forget one thing that Olunga was once the star boy of KPL akite the yogo Romahia. Eh Masuri Juma was once a star boy. Would I get like and then out of the blue akire national team of washinde kufunga one two three goals out of the blue what just let them to mwingine. You know we are we are very impatient um uh fan base and Kenyans in general don't like looking at the bigger picture. That's the problem. Like wa Kenya waangalia angi bigger picture. Wanaangalia anga emotion peke eh um and uh it's not that olunga is bad olunga is a quality striker me i have complete confidence in him what one am kejeli manake amekuwa kihata hata hizo hizo chances but like nani said like um eh dan said before ile game ya kata hiyo bao ya nondi haifungwi bila olunga like angalia angalia nani ali hold up ball akaibeba mbele alafu akapeana cutback Yo bawa ivungu bila ulunga that is something yenye Omala angeshindwa kufanya manake Omala is a kind of striker that plays off the shoulder of the last defender Omala is the kind of striker that attacks spaces manake he is strong pacey and powerful Omala is like Haaland in every sense of the word like he is to be facilitated he is not a facilitative striker facilitative striker ni wale watu wanafanya all these other attributes i'm telling you like Hurricane na watu kama hao what to who facilitate you ni kama uh, oh, oh, anani um Haaland and Olunga i mean Omala is that kind of person so kumleta kwa hii team chances are he even struggle even more manake sisi si creative side angalia venye tuna struggle for creativity someone like that will struggle big time if he doesn't have someone to facilitate the game for him so at the end of the day kitu nitataka kusema ni there is a tuache kukashifu Olunga tuache kumkashifu manake um he's he's an asset and he's someone as Kenyans we should be grateful to have manake uh, i think his quality uh, ni ya kuchezea a really 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 top african nation 
by top African nation na manisha the Nigerias of this world, the um, Ivory Coast of this world, but he plays for East Africa, a small nation in East Africa. Okay, so I could tweet a small, but in football in terms, we are a small nation. I get. So um, <laughs> I think to watch a kumkashifu, uh, to pay some flack because uh, we may analyze in detail why he's so important for us. Yeah, I think I think when a coach gives his uh, coach uh, his, his player more time to play, and the fans also show support for that player, it akwa raisi kurejea mchezoni haraka na kunenda ku perform vizuri ama kuregesha form yake awali. We've seen this with the likes of Ronaldo in the past at Manchester, Messi also at PSG and his struggle msimu wa kwanza. Lakini bado alingara tu alipoondoka pale. Na pia msimu wa pili pia alingara pale klabu ni PSG. So it's a matter of time. Form 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 si permanent kila wakati. Ukiwa uko form kila wakati basi unasema Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba asante kwamba form yangu jashuka lakini eh, asante kwa uchambuzi huo. Lakini hapa kwenye comment section na muona Brian eh, Chanzu anasema I think this criticism make experience player eh, to step down and retire from national team. An exam an example is Wanyama was so criticized at, at his time that made him to retire okay alafu idris mashumbe anasema mlisema wa kenya tunapenda tu pombe asante <laughs> sana kwa hilo alafu motari franklin anasema hakuna siku fans wata blame striker kama hakupata chance ya ku score but they will criticize him only if he gets open cut chances and defaults to deliver and again criticisms humaliza moral players have confidence yao hushuka kabisa makambo bingwa anasema Kai Havertz amekuwa na form mbaya ambapo hadi fans wanamcriticize but Arteta is still giving him a play time you saw the other time alipewa penalty ya bure tu apige so Olunga eh, he can score when he wants to score asante sana kwa hilo now let's move away from Olunga uh, best player of the tournament alikuwa nani eh, so forth now let's move on eh, tuangalie mbele tugange ajayo manake mwezi novemba tunacheza na Gabon mechi ya kwanza ya ufunguzi ya kufuzu michuano ya kombe la dunia la mwaka 2026 baada ya hapo bado tuko ugenini dhidi ya ushelisheri yani Seychelles away two away games zinakuja mwezi Novemba za kufuzu World Cup and we've said we've said so clearly that next year hakuna friendlies ni michuano ya kufuzu dimba la Afcon na World Cup qualifiers so it means our squad at this point or engine firat squad at this point should be very very ready to face the likes of gabon and seychelles so dan when you, we face gabon and seychelles in november ukiangalia kusitwa ni sasa hivi tumecheza dhidi ya dhidi ya russia dhidi ya qatar dhidi ya sudan kusini are we good are we better are we ready to face a gabon side who have played in the afcon more regularly Kusema, kusema we are ready that could be an, an, an overstatement but we are decent uh, that means on any afternoon we can step on the pitch and give you good minutes and we can take our chances that's what i've observed for the past uh, three matches we've had eh uh, pa ile ya sudan ambayo tulishindwa kufunga kabisa and uh, i'm not pinning that on uh, ulunga having a bad afternoon out but ukiangalia the way to me observe kwamba maintaining shape kwa sababu ukiangalia kuna ile game yenye ilikuwa World Cup ilikuwa Argentina na Saudi Arabia wakati Saudi Arabia walishinda. Ukiangalia okay, Argentina walikuwa na position almost 87%. Lakini why did Australia why did Saudi Arabia come back to the game wakafunga alafu waka see out your game. Nile the ability to maintain your shape alafu kufanya the basics right. I feel we are doing that. Na tukikutana team kama Gabon, Gabon I cannot call them African giants in terms of footballing uh, footballing terms. Uh, Gabon uh, iwako, I think to the level ya Rambe Stars ni ile tu wako lucky enough kwamba players wao wengi wao wako wanya walizaliwa Spain walizaliwa France kina Obama Young uh, wa, uh, kuna there is also this player mwenye anachezea goals mwenye anapanga number 5 so those players they were not born in Gabon walizaliwa Euro, Europe wakakulia pale they were not there but wakati imekuja now national agency wakarudi Gabon kucheza ball so we are not lucky on that front Uh, so but I feel like on a good day we can give them a good challenge and also we can also take our chances and uh, we need to claim wins whenever we need to do that so ukiona uh, the partnership the defense defense imekuwa rock apart from kama mistake yetu leo na jana ya baula kwanza kutoka kwa umuru so i feel like uh, kwa mazingira ya game mnacheza yenye ina matter yenye ni matter of points i don't feel like we should have that in 
as kind of a complacency. So I feel we are 60% there. Now, between now and November, what we'll do will determine a lot how now we are going to perform on such matches. But okay, I'll appear and we'll be able to fixtures jeans you po. And it's coming in a fast year to ask na kupata na point six as a kwanza. Ndio tukiara kutana kina Ivory Coast next year upata kwamba tuko at least na cushion na some room ya ku make mistakes sababu sahi kwa qualifying campaign kwa sababu sahi next ni World Cup qualifying campaign na is next time World Cup I think ni 48 teams zitakuwa zinacheza so that be, we have more slots from Africa sahi the coach needs to be very calculative in terms of where he can get points where he can not uh, where, where he can, can can get a draw you need to be very realistic with uh, your abilities in terms of the players you have, you have in the camp alafu na the kind of opponents that you are come up against so sahi kwa sababu ya flat i think the only thing he needs to do ni kuhakikisha kwamba the first two games we get about as much points as we can from there because if we have six points going to the ivory coast match we have some rooms to make a mistake kama to kill out for a draw even better but sahi sahi ni zile tu kwa zile training zenye amekuwa akifanya sahi okay heading into the friendlies kama ameona weakness is the right time for them to iron them out such that to kiangia campaign to be a serious business Mm-hmm. Bwana Mark I think I agree with Dan 100% fully because ngikangalia kwenye msomo wa jadwali la FIFA di sasa ni kwamba FIFA ranking Gabon is number 82 Kenya is number 102 Seychelles is number 197 197 those are 95 places down where we are at So at the moment even if Gabon was number 2 in the world I think we could still beat them why tuko form sasa hizi tuko form tuko form majamaa tumecheza na Qatar tukawapiga Cheza na Russia tukawafunga mbili of which Cameroon alishinda kuwafunga. Sasa hizi tuko form. I think Gabon and Seychelles kama ulivyosema Dan those are six points that we need to bag. Yaani sare ni kama tumepoteza. Hapo ni ushindi 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 kwa Firat. But uh, Kinyanjui, I think the right word to use or to ask is can we compete now against Gabon and Seychelles and get the six points as Dan and I are saying. Uh, Gabon are not very uh, far away in terms of like quality kutushinda like most like I was telling you guys uh, kwa group chat uh, Gabon ni mm. yani ni team kubwa tu on paper okay certainly ni team kubwa like ni wako na majina kubwa on paper Aubameyang and uh, Mario Lemina that's it but hata ukiangazia like actually um, ukiangazia actually ukiangazia, I think I think, I think... I think Gabon Gabon ni jina kubwa because of Aubameyang. Na ukimwangalia Uba sasa hivi si ule Uba wa Dortmund ama wa Arsenal. Exactly. Uh, hata ukiangazi, ukiangalia recent form yao um, wanapigwa na teams kama Sudan. Like wana ukiangazia like the form yao tu basically uh, wamepigwa na Sudan, wamepigwa hadi na Mauritania, uh, wamepigwa hadi na um, um, Uh, I think that their last win was against Guinea Bissau and that was in 2022. Uh, their form is not that great at the moment. So if we believe in ourselves, tunaweza enda huko Gabon na to give a run for their money and probably even come out with a win. Um, personally me if you ask me the only team yenye inaweza to pay challenge ni the Gambia. Like what one another row the Gambia. The Gambia are possibly the strongest team in that group. But everything else including at Ivory Coast who historically are a great nation but at the moment wako in transition they are not the Ivory Coast they are kina Drogba ama kina Yaya Toure so i think um, Gabon is a team that we should be if we believe in ourselves not nime notice we do well away from home and our Firat so far in terms of like um wamepata confidence ya kushinda kata wamepata confidence ya ku draw na Russia like like name na ime wape a lot of confidence so we can go there and we will, if we play on the transition we can win what we mustn't do ni kudharau seashells manake seashells on paper are the weakest team in that group seashells ni team in all honesty hata ukiniuliza ni team hata inafaa to ki hope kama tano even though it be ranking in terms boost in terms of like um goal difference here to me because this the, the the higher goal difference you have against teams like this the higher your chances manake kuna point hiyo group itafika ita decide you by fine margins unapata ni match week 5 out of 6 na mko level on points the top 3 teams mm-hmm. get, so you need to get as many goals as you can from seashells as much as possible in fact hiyo ni non negotiable personally um I, i see us beating gabon um when you may say even a draw will be will be will be like catastrophic considering the group that we are in but i'd i'd rather i'd rather draw with gabon 
alafu nipige usheli sheli sita kushinda kushinda ni nishinde ni gabon nishinde gabon um eh, 3 nil alafu ni ambition na seashells kama south sudan uh, that would be that would be embarrassing in all honesty so uh, the minimum i expect for the next two games uh, because the first two games are fairly fair in my opinion is um eh, kupata at least four points out of six we can't go below four points out of six but we need six points out of six manake it will take pressure off pirat in terms of what kwanya wasema they want results and you can't blame them because kwanya ana support team sambazo um ziko about winning now in terms of chelsea na gorma here he had you could trust the process ni nini so the sooner he can get results the better for everyone involved naita it's amba ya time even with the new president with fkf next year so let's hope for the best in terms of those two games Uh, uh, I'm sure whatever Kwanya is he will be saying Sagini I didn't have the right to reply to what Kinyanjua just said but then atajibu katika kipindi kijacho cha wiki kesho katika kipindi cha gumzo la FKF pia lakini nikiangalia uh, the last win that Gabon got was in November 2022 against Guinea Bissau they won 3-1 since then until now they have played how many games they have played four games and they have lost they have lost three and won one they beat sudan this year in march 1-0 and then they were beaten by sudan 1-0 then they lost to drc 2-0 then they lost to mauritania 2-1 today gabon is playing guinea at i think that game is already ongoing they're playing guinea in a international friendly because be, before our first uh, game of the world cup qualifiers that will be on 13th november this year then after that we'll face uh seashells then Bur- Bur- will face Bur- no they will face burundi against gabon then as will face seashells away in seashells kufikia hapo niseme asante lakini hapa kwenye comment section uh, na muona waganjo ngugi anasema uh, hapo hoping olunga will be on his top form tutafieka hawa gabon na ushelisheli uh, bila jasho we are not bad asante alafu crispus chalo anasema in the two games i think we should attack more otherwise for me i see six points how wote tunawapika comfortably asante sana kwa hilo jumba given anasema olunga needs a rest okay kaudi yako haina kubalika waiganjo ngugi anasema even rashford is indeed struggling right now kaudi zone hizo ambazo zinakubalika asilimia moja. mimi niseme asante lakini kabla ya kuondoka mitamboni ni vibaya sasa kufahamisha matokeo ya mechi za weekend hii katika ligi kuu ya soka nchini Kenya maana ni weekend ya ngapi weekend ya saba itakuwa lagagazwa ambapo mechi tatu zitakuwa mubashara kwenye runinga yako ama kiwambo chako cha Azam na zungumzia mechi kati ya KCB na Ulinzi siku ya Jumamosi saa kumi katika uga wa nyayo kisha mchezo pili kupirushwa live weekend hii ni kati ya Karibangi Sharks na Moroni Youth saa saba katika uga huo wa nyayo kisha baadaye saa kumi mechi kati ya Tasca na Gor Mahia zingine zote zipo Jumamosi na pia Jumapili katika weekend ya saba, March day 7 ya ligi kuu ya soka humu nchini Kenya niseme asante kwa wachambuzi wangu Dan Ogega na Mark Nyanjui kwa kufanikisha makala haya kwa njia moja au nyingine kwenye kitengo cha uchambuzi pia niseme asante kwa wale wote waliokuwa nasi kama watazamaji kuanzia mwanzo hadi mwisho wa kipindi hiki cha gumzo la FKFPL magumzo la Harambe Stars nikiondoka basi na nisome kauli yake Tony Mula anasema show ni moto sagini next ni Gambia asante kwa hilo asante ni sana wenzangu tufanye hivi vita na siku ya Jumanne wiki ijayo kuanzia saa tatu hadi saa nne kwenye kipindi kingine cha gumzo la FKFPL ilikuwa ni weekend ya saba ya kuzungumzia matokeo mbalimbali na uchambuzi wa kina kwenye ligi ya soka humu nchini Kenya maana kile ni kwamba viongozi wa ligi ni posta rangers na sisi kama shabana tumeshatoka kwenye eneo la kushuka daraja right now we are fighting for top spots kwa hiyo na mengine mengi weekend ijayo lakini usikose pia kutufuata kwenye mtandao wetu wa youtube channel ya Jason Sagini the sports arch bishop ni follow alafu bonyeza alama kengele ili wa kwanza kupokea content tukwenda hewani kila mara fikia hapo ni sehemu asante pia kwa mwelekezo wangu Dennis Njoroge kwa kufanisha makala haya kwa njia moja au nyingine kama kawaida Harambe Stars hoye kidedea michezo ni yetu na mi, na sporti ni sisi kwa heri ya kuonana kuwa na usiku mwanana.